Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, you're going to see me testing the baffle that I've installed inside this boiler. This is an elbow with one side of this hooked on this pie shape piece for easy installation. Welded her back on there, some stainless steel shielding, and uh, we just want to observe the flow characteristics of this thing using the actual air compressor that we're going to use. Fortunately, I forgot to do that. And we are looking at a bigger air compressor, but just for the sake of viewing its performance, um, we're going to check this out. The flow pattern is acceptable. I, I could do better, but I think I like it. It's going to do uh, just fine for what we've got going on. We basically have built a forge that's going to be used to heat monotube steam coil, which will jack at the inside and outside of this canister. And because we're using waste oil, we don't have to worry about anything going past 1,800 degrees or so. And what that'll do is protect the entire system for the most part. So, a little be real shot there. But uh, I definitely like the way this thing's performing. It's not spraying fire out the back end. The full elbow would not have allowed it to Ventura effect as well like that creating quite the blast. What I'm going to do is put some fins on the end plate that cause that forward blast to rotate. I'll put like some secondary stainless steel blades on there. Probably never run it this high. I don't think we'll need to with the water flows that we're going to be using, but you never know. I wanted to make sure we had all the power in the world and you can tell this thing's definitely got it. I'm loving the flow characteristics there. Everything is looking very well. Next step is to throw a coil in there. This compressor is going to work out perfect. We're running at about 45 psi's. Another shot of that elbow glowing there. The cool thing about that glowing elbow is it'll put off powerful IR. Well, that is going to make one hell of a boiler. I'll tell you that right now. I would say this test was a total success as far as ignition and all that. I was worried about pulse jetting. I did get some pulse jetting. Had to stop the test halfway through there when I realized I'm using the wrong air compressor. We have to test with the actual unit that's going to be running the device. It did great. That little air compressor is going to do just fine. As I said, Carlos, we're going to take this compressor off of these tanks and mount that compressor inside the unit. It'll be behind the burner sitting right here in an insulated box. So, fellas. I guess in conclusion, I haven't decided yet whether I want to go with a co-flow or a counter-flow. We're burning waste oil on this bad boy. This is uh, pure synthetic even. The hardest stuff there is to burn. Just to kind of showcase its abilities. It burns other fuels way better. I'm liking the red elbow. That thing is going to just put some serious radiation off. This is just another clip of the ignition process to kind of observe how it's going to go. That nozzle will get that oil to burn just fine at very low air input. That's how you want to light this thing. And uh, as far as the heat exchange, like I said, I'm still on the fence on whether or not I want to go co-flow or counter-flow. It would be safer to go with a co-flow, which is where the steam discharge is exiting the same place the gas discharge is exhaust discharge. The counter flow would be where the discharge of the steam is on the hottest point of the boiler, which don't know about 